had spoken about Zimbabwe in our uh, previous section, one of the other hotspots, if we can talk about it quickly, is Madagascar. Yes. We've seen um, Andre Rajolina uh, seizing power and removing um, pr uh, former President uh, Mark Ravalomanana. Should I call him former? Because I'm not sure how Sadak recognizes him from, from, from office. And this has really, uh, really shed the spotlight on Sadak again about its performance in dealing with peace and security measures. Others have said, yet again, um, it appears that Sadak has this one-size-fits-all approach to resolving conflict. Uh, you call for the parties to unify, but without really condemning unconstitutional changes of power, as we saw Rajulina engaging in. We did in 2009 when Rajulina and seat president uh, Ravalomanana. Mm -hmm. We did. And let me tell you that uh, one of the options that was considered at that time mm -hmm. was to send to Madagascar the military brigade. Yes. But uh, then it was felt that, uh, 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 no, let's take other options. Mm -hmm. Let's consider other options. Why? Um, by different reasons. And there was an internal call mm -hmm. from Madagascar that please uh, don't use force. Try to solve the problem without using force. And this call came from the civil society. Mm -hmm. Yes, when they learned that uh, Sadak was considering the possibility of intervening in Madagascar. We got this call, and we brief our leadership that I, I think that uh, though is one option that we have to consider, yeah. uh, we also need to take in consideration the internal views. Mm -hmm. It was a right decision or wrong decision. We can be judged, but we put in place the different elements, and that's when we came to this option that, okay, Let's engage under Rajolina and with a clear indication that Sadak will never recognize him mm -hmm. as the leader of Madagascar. And we never recognize him up to now. At AU level, at UN, he tried to go to UN. And we said, no, 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 no. You can't go because you don't represent Madagascar. Mm -hmm. Who represents Madagascar is Marco Ravalomana. SADAC has, uh, through its various member states, security forces who can uh, provide security to Mr. Ravalomanana to see him return. Yet, we yes. see delay after delay. He can return. Yeah. But the good thing is the wife has returned to Madagascar. Yes. yes, this is starting point. Mm -hmm. He's a starting point. But she returned simply because her mother was unwell. And Which this is put pressure on, on SADAC to consider her return. It wasn't really as as an effective push by Sadak to see both of them returning home. No, our push was to consider different options. Even the option of putting in place a military unit or security unit to protect Rebolo Manana. But you know one thing, sometimes when you deal with these things, you need to bring on board other elements. It's not an easy decision, you see? To take a battalion, to take a brigade, to take a company, soldiers from outside, from nowhere, who don't understand Criollo, mm -hmm. the language of Madagascar, yeah. who don't understand French, yeah. because you speak French, and you deploy them there. But it's, sir, yes. this, this, this raises a, a key issue, and I'm glad you're, yes. you're raising it which has been this issue of having a standby brigade yes. for the Southern African Development Community. Yes. It was proposed at the very beginning of your tenure, yes. and we've seen numerous calls for the establishment in the interest of peace and security. Yet, it doesn't seem like we are able to do this. Let's go back to Madagascar. Yes. The standby force doesn't exist, and that is why we are, we are unable to provide security in such instances. But the role of standby force is not to provide security to, to heads of states. That's not the role. Peace, uh, peace mission? Peace mission. 
But this yes. is part of that no. ongoing peace mission. No, that no, you no, say. no, no. I think that uh, we, we might differ here. Uh -huh. Okay? Mm -hmm. you, the role, you have terms of reference for the military brigade. Uh -huh. Clear terms of reference when you use the brigade to intervene. Yes. Okay? It's not the role of a brigade to provide security. No, it's mm. not the role of the brigade. Mm. We consider the possibility of using the brigade in 2009. Yeah. That one, yes, was an option under consideration. But you don't use the brigade to go and protect a head of state. No, it's not the role of the, of the, of the brigade. That's why that option was not. And then we said, OK, Let's engage the security forces in Madagascar uh -huh. that look, guys, because there is disagreement between mm. the leadership and yourselves mm. in terms of how to protect Mark Rolvermorana. One option that we are considering is to bring a unit to protect him. Yes. Are you happy with that? Mm reflect and come back to us and we have a military team on the ground to consider that option is it then uh, mark uh, or rather andre rajolina's position that in actual fact he will not contest in these upcoming elections it's clear and there is no way that's his commitment he made the commitment before sadak and sadak will not accept any other position so he cannot stand him and Mark Here's Dr. Tomas Solomao. He's been a very busy man over these past seven or so years uh, trying to implement change, good governance, democratization, economic integration. What do you do after August? Myself? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, number one, uh, when I joined SADC, I, I told President uh, uh, Chisano uh, uh, and President Muhai that uh, I had my own plans in my life. But uh, then they said, OK, hold on. And uh, now the region is asking for you to take the responsibility. I did that. One of the things that uh, for sure I have to do, I have to write some books. Yes. I'll, I'll, read, I'll read that book on I Saturday. have <laughs> to write some books. Yes. In particular about the untold stories. <coughs> yes. Because there are some things that uh, are public. Uh -huh. But you have a lot of them who are not public. So I have to write a book. And some of the chapters will be the untold stories about some of this process. Uh -huh. Thomas Solomao. Indeed, a true African, a man who has worked hard for change. We salute you for all your efforts in the Southern African development community and wish you all the best in your endeavors after you leave. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us on Africa 360. That does indeed bring us to the end of yet another edition of your program, Africa 360. would certainly like to thank the outgoing Executive Secretary of SADC, Dr. Tomas Solomao, for uh, taking the time to uh, share those key insights with us into uh, the Southern African development community right here on Africa 360. If you'd like to leave a comment or join the debate on Africa, you can find us on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter or drop us an email on africa360 at enca.com. And remember, you're more than welcome to give us uh, uh, suggestions and tips on what you'd like to see on upcoming editions of uh, your program. So until next time, when we look forward to bringing you Africa like uh, you've never seen it before, do take care.